So this is an e-commerce website I created recently. And if you can look at the website, you can see the website looks great. I added some products on this website. Now, the only thing missing on this website is that this website doesn't have any payment gateway to receive payment. All right. So um, let's just try to click on one of the products here and try to purchase it. So I click on this yellow shoes and when it opens up, I just scroll down and click on add to cart. So the product has been added to cart. I come and click on view cart. And then I click on checkout. And when I click on checkout, you can see there is an option for me to put my billing details. Okay. But I want you to look at the right hand side. You can see here it says, sorry, it seems there are no available payment methods. Please contact us. So you can see this is a big problem. You wouldn't want to create an e-commerce website and then there won't be any payment gateway to receive payments. You just get screwed. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can integrate uh, a payment gateway on your website. And the payment platform we're going to be using to integrate on this website is Paystack. Now, let me take you to another website I created that I integrated Paystack. So we will try to compare the experience and see the difference. So if I come to this website, this is a website I designed recently. So I'll click on shop and then it opens the shop page. So this is a backpack from Rimo website. I just added this to test the functionality of this website. So I click on the backpack and when it opens up, you can see the price is 29,900. I click on add to cart. My product has been added to cart. I click on view cart. And I click on proceed to checkout. So here I'm asked to put my um, billing details. You can see I have uh, some information here already because this is on my system. You can see I have these details. Then when you come here, you can see we have cash on delivery and we also have debit slash credit card via Paystack. So this website has a payment gateway integrated on it. So we are using Paystack. If I click on place order, it's going to prompt me. Paystack is going to prompt me to put in uh, to put in my card details or a transfer, make bank transfer. If I click on bank, you can see if I choose USSD, pay attitude, OP and all of that. Okay. Now this is a test transaction. So if I click on success and I click pay, you can see payment is successful. So you can see my payment summary here, my receipt and everything is showing here. Now, this is what is missing on this website. This website doesn't have a payment gateway. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate Paystack API keys to your WordPress website so you can receive payment on your website. All right, so let's go to my WordPress dashboard so we can start. So I am in my WordPress dashboard. Now, if you don't know how to get here, I have a full detailed video tutorial on how to create a WordPress website. And in that video, I also covered how to install WordPress and set everything up. So if you are yet to watch that video, I'm going to be dropping a link to that video in the description of this video. So make sure you watch that video so you can follow up with me. All right. So, um, let's just take a look at our website once more. So if I come to this website, you can see it says, sorry, it seems that there are no available payment methods. So we are trying to see how we can integrate payment on this website. So I'll come back to my WordPress dashboard and then here we have WooCommerce. I'll come to settings, then I'll click on payments. And on payment, you can see the available payment methods we have on this website. We have Stripe, we have all these websites here. Now, I want to choose cash on delivery. So I'll just select cash on delivery and then I will save changes. Now, because I've selected this option, when I come back to my website and I refresh, You can see my website now has an option to pay on delivery. Okay. But this is not what we want to have. We want to integrate Paystack 
payment gateway on this website so we can receive payments via paystack okay so to get that functionality come back to your wordpress dashboard and click on plugins so we are going to be installing a plugin that will help us to integrate the paystack api keys to our wordpress website so when you click on plugin click on add new plugin then here come and search for paystack So just come here and search for paystack and when it opens up you're going to be seeing different plugins different paystack plugins but the one i want you to install is paystack woocommerce payment gateway so click on install and then click on activate so this plugin has been installed and activated successfully now let's see how we can do the integration so after installing the the word the paystack plugin come to woocommerce and click on settings then click on payments and now if i scroll down you can see we have paystack here as one of the payment um, options we have because we've installed that plugin so now i need to toggle this on because we want to activate paystack on our website then we need to set it up so come here and click on finish setup and when you come here you can see that there are options here for us to configure so here this is the title so we can see debit slash credit cards then you can add something like via paystack so people can know the payment gateway they are using for payment so just something like this but this is completely optional okay so this is what we have here then we have the test secret key and the test public key because this is going to be a test transaction you can see paystack has been enabled and here we have test mode so this is selected to be in test mode now i'll go to my paystack dashboard and when I click here, you can see I am in my paystack dashboard. I'll scroll down and click on settings. Now, if you don't know how, to, if you don't have a paystack account yet, I have a full detailed tutorial on how to create a paystack account and get activated in less than five minutes. So I'm going to be also dropping a link to that video in the description so you can watch it and follow up with me all right so come to api keys and webhooks this is where you want to come now my paystack account has been verified so you can see here we have live but in wordpress we we are using the test mode so i need to set my paystack um, account in test mode so we can copy the api keys so if i scroll down you can see this is the test secret key and this is a test public key so I need to copy the test secret key and test public key. So I'll just come here and copy this. I'll just copy it and then come back to my WordPress website. And I will paste the test secret key. I'll come back and copy the test public key. Come to my WordPress dashboard and paste the test public key. Then I'll scroll down and click on save changes so my settings have been saved then let's go back to my website and now i'm going to be refreshing and when i refresh you can see that paystack option is going to be reflecting on this page so i just come and refresh the site and when i refresh the site you can see debit slash credit card via paystack so um, your customers can see that they have an option to make payment through paystack so i'll choose this paystack but before then let's fill up our billing details so i'll just click here to fill in my billing details and then for this email i can just change it to my mail so something like this i'll just just put this here and then i come here and i click on place order i don't want to save my details
and then you can see it now brings up the paystack interface for me to make payment now this is a test transaction because we are in test mode so if i click on success and i click on pay it's going to be showing me that payment successful which means this is working so i got this yellow shoes for 120 naira so let's go to my paystack account and see if the payment came in so right now we are in the live mode we are in the live mode so i need to toggle this to test mode i need to switch this to test mode so we can see if that payment came through all right so now we are in test mode and then i need to come and click on home and you can see in the test mode in the last 30 days this is the payment that came in but i want to come here and just check for today and you can see we have 30,020 naira. And the reason we have this is because if you remember in the beginning of this tutorial, we made a test transaction on this other website and we got this Orimo functional backpack for 29,900 naira earlier. And then later we also got this um, DNK yellow shoes for 120 naira and if you sum that up that's gonna be 30,020 naira so that means these both websites are connected to my paystack account I connected this website to my paystack account and I connected this to my paystack account as well that's why we have 30,020 naira instead of only 120 naira so I just hope you're clear with that all right, so now I'm going to be showing you how to integrate live API keys on your website so you can receive live payments, okay? So we've tried, we've tested the functionality of this test mode and everything is working. So let's see how we can integrate live API keys on our website for real transactions. So first of all, you need to come here and toggle this back to live. So I'll just click here to toggle it. And you can see this has been toggled back to life then the same steps come down scroll down to settings click on settings click on api keys and webhooks and now we are going to be integrating the live secret key and the live public key instead of the test secret key and the test public key so i'll just come here to the top and for the live secret key now, if I click on this eye icon to view this, they're going to be asking me for my password because this is sensitive information, all right? This is sensitive information. So I need to put my password here before I can proceed with that. So I click here. And now you see I can copy it. Then I'll scroll down here. You can see paystack is enabled and we are using test mode. I'll just deselect this and I will paste my live secret key here. Come back and I'll also copy my live public key and then I will paste it here. And now I will just come down here and save. So I'll just click on save changes. And my changes have been saved successfully. So that's how you integrate the live um, API keys on your website for real transactions, okay? So now that the change has been saved successfully, let's try to make a test payment on our website and see if um, the payment is going to be successful. Now, let's go back to my website. So you can see the website here. I scroll down, I click on this Boho Bango bracelet and when it opens up uh you can see this product has a variation it has aqua it has green and it has red so let's just go with the aqua just click on add to cart and then my product has been added to cart i click on view cart then i scroll down i click on checkout then here i'll just put in all these details all this information what i want to do here i want to put my email so at least i can receive the payment receipt and notification from paystack after payment so rest everything is fine i'll come here i'll choose debit slash credit cards via paystack and then i'll click on place order now we're expecting live payment because we changed the status of this transaction from um, test mode to we disable test mode so this payment can be live 
So let's see what's going to be happening here. So now you can see that the interface has changed and it's now requesting for my card. So here you can put your card number and all these details. If you don't have your card ready, you can make a transfer instead to this account and then you just let them know you've sent the money. You can come to bank and choose the bank you want to make the payment. You choose USSD, Pay Attitude, Visa QR and OP is new. All right. So I'll just come to card and put in my card details. So after putting in my card details, I'll just click on P150 Naira. I'll put in my PIN. So it's trying to authorize the payment. And then an OTP has been sent to my phone number. So I've received the OTP. I'll just go ahead and put it here. So this is my OTP and I'll click on authorize. You can see payment is successful. I've even gotten notifications on my phone and I've been debited already. So this payment has been successful and this payment is 150 Naira. So um, before we made this transaction, I already tested it in my Paystack account. So if I come to my Paystack account and I click on home, you can see today we have received the payment of 330 Naira. But what we got here is 150 Naira. I had already tested um, this transaction and got something for 180 Naira earlier. That's why you see 330 and let's verify that by coming to our daily transactions and you can see I got something for 180 Naira previously and the transaction we've made now is 150 Naira through card. So you can see the transaction details and everything is here. Now let's go to my email. You can see in my email I have this payment receipt 150 Naira from Paystack and everything just went on fine so you can see it here so that is how you integrate paystack um, payment gateway on your wordpress website and receive payment now if you don't have a paystack account i have a very detailed video tutorial on how to create your account and get verified instantly all right so i'm going to be linking that video in the description of this video so you can watch it and create your paystack account then also, if you don't know how to create an e-commerce website, I also have a video on how to create a website and also how to create an e-commerce website on my channel. So just do well to check the link in the description of this video, click on it and watch it so you can follow up with this video. So I think that's basically it guys. If there is anything I've not covered and you want me to cover, you can drop a comment in um, the comment section and let me know so i add it to my list so that is it for this tutorial guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and also hit the bell notification icon so you can always get notified when i drop future videos thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video god bless you